Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. There's Gabby's name if I can get the light on it. Now you can probably see it. The website on the side here is shifferbooks.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you'd like to, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards. Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. Um, hopefully you can see those if you want to. On the back are a few websites. She Who Is Art, I usually notice, but there's a couple others. Feel free to freeze frame and check out whatever you would like to check out if you're interested. Leo. Got to move things around already. While this is going on, I feel like your life is very busy. Like, even for you, just to be fair. I feel like I'm constantly going, constantly going. I might even question how you have the time to watch this video. <laughs> um, I'm getting, like, a very busy energy all around, so... What is that? Uh, caretaker. It says career, but I get caretaker. Caretaker. Okay, um... Who, what are you dealing with? All right, so... I feel like I'm trying to restructure. I'm trying to restructure, and I'm trying to restructure something more to the way I want it to go. Initially, that sounds fine, right? Why, why not? There, I feel like this is going to start off with a warning. Restructuring the situation to the way you want it to go is going to create a lot of loss. The process itself is going to create a lot of loss because whoever you're dealing with is going to fight it. Um, there's going to be a lot of pushback, a lot of pushback. That's what's, that is where the loss is going to happen. If, if people just immediately went along with like, okay, that's what you want, let's do it that way, this you could restructure it. There's something here, even if it's even if there's not a person, whatever it is, it does not, it does not, it's gonna give you a lot of pushback. It's gonna have a lot of problems. So if even if you were like rebuilding a house, if it was built the way you thought it was built and you wanted to restructure it the way you liked it, if you want to do some upgrades and some refurbishing, whatever, whatever the right word is, restruct re, reconstructing some things, if it was built the way it should have been, yes, that would work. This situation is not. So if we're looking at a house. It's like where the where things should be or not where things are. Uh, so like if there should be like pipes in this wall and there should be a stud in this wall and there should be this over here, it's literally not built correctly. It's built, it's not built correctly. So if it was built with the structure that you were expecting, yes, you could do that. It's not. If it's people you're dealing with, they're going to give you a lot of pushback, a lot of pushback. pushback. There's going to be a lot of loss either way. They're kind of warning you. If you try to create this and move it to your liking, you are going to get a lot of loss. You are going to get a lot of loss. So how do we restructure this into, how do we redo something with this? How do we re realign this into a way that is satisfying for you so you can get the success you want? Because I feel like there has to be changes. I feel like there has to be. Because I, I do get that there's a lot of pushback. And you got the Queen of Swords, which the Queen of Swords... It, that can be an ally or it can be a foe, the way I'm feeling with this. It depends on if, you, if you're working with the Queen of Ally, Ally, the Queen of Allies, the Queen of Allies. Okay, the Queen of Allies. So whoever this is, they're not only going to be, a, if this is a person, they're going to not only be a problem, they're going to get other people to be a problem for you too. Keep that in mind. I And it's not like you can't overcome these things, but it's like, there's so many things you could do. Do you really want to spend it fighting somebody else and the people they have around them? Like, is it really worth sucking up that much of your energy and that much of your time? It's more about time. I feel like it's the time. Could you overcome it? Yeah. Is it worth it, though? Is it worth the time you would spend doing it? That's all. I feel like that's the question. Because this person, you had the King of Cups, but they have the Queen of Wands. They will match you 
point for point. If it's a person, they will match you point for point. There's going to be a lot of loss here, I'm warning you. What's going to happen is this person will match you point for point. And while they should let it go, I'm also getting they will not let it go. They will take this way far beyond necessary. So it's almost like, for example, if you were married to somebody, they would cause you so much pain. You may end up divorcing them and they will still not let it go. They will still find you, hunt you down and try to create any problem they can create for you because they will not let it go. It's just fair warning on that. It's kind of like, you know, can you overcome it? It's sort of. You can deal with it. You can survive through it, but you don't need this to drag through forever. Um, a lot of energy here. That's three queens. And you have one king card. So don't get caught up in the gender, but I'm getting like this energy will not give up. Um, they will not give up. I usually, I, this is not a queen, but it's the nine of coins. They have they feel very self-satisfied by not letting you get ahead on this. Whatever this is, it is really motivated to like make sure that you're like, I, I don't know. It's like they won't let you have this, but then they're going to become, they just will not let it go. And they will constantly be a problem just to be a problem. I just noticed they have another cart, court card on their side. It's the King of Pentacles. This is like, you know, one, two, three, there's four. This one I thought was another court card. It's not. I thought that was another queen, but I'm like, we already have a Queen of Pentacles out here. <laughs> but I feel like it's being mirrored. This person will not let go. They will not let go. So be aware of this. Uh, I know you're not afraid of a fight, but like, this is like, I can't, like, if you think, like, if you ever can think of in your life where somebody, you thought, like, one short moment would just, well, whether it went good or bad, it would be just one short moment and move on, but then they just never let go. And it's like for years you just kept having to deal with somebody and you're just like, if I had known in that one moment that this would have dragged down for years, I would have just walked the other way. This is one of those moments. They're like trying to give you the heads up. This is one of those moments. Walk the other way. Go a different direction. Otherwise, this person will just drag you down for years. Um, take it with a grain of salt. It's a general read. Readings for, for entertainment purposes only. Whatever you need to hear. Like if you don't want it, you don't want the information, you don't want the information. But if this reading is hitting, they're like giving you a heads up. Instead of trying to make this go where you want it to go, they're saying go on to something else. Go on to something else. Because I feel like Whatever it is, you already know looking at it, it's a long situation. What they want is they want whatever you're connecting to, whether it's a house, if it's a tangible thing, or it's a person, it's something that's kind of looking for a long-term commitment. Slow and steady wins the race. This plus that plus this. And like it, they look, this is what it's asking for. And you, I feel like you know that, that that's what it wants. But you're looking at it like, well, I know that's what it wants, but I can make this change in five seconds. Just let me do it my way. This can be turned around in two minutes they're saying don't do that that's this is like a heads up of how to figure out what it is if this reading is hitting for you it's a general read if this reading is hitting for you it's giving me agita like <laughs> like ugh. um whatever it is you definitely want you have the king of cups then the knight of cups came out and then the the cancer card it's not the cancer card well it's the chariot it, the chariot is the cancer card came out in the uh, dice um you definitely want this whatever it is that you're so connected to and you really want if you can do it on the terms of the person or the situation if you're willing to do it on their terms you can have it if you if you want to do it if you're like no i have to do it on my terms they're, they're saying this is going to double back on you something you really wanted is going to end up being something you really hate be aware of it. Be aware of it. Um, I would pull back from whatever this is and slow it down. And let this let this situation show you what it's made of. Get yourself involved in something else. Put the majority of your energy in something else and slow this way down. Give it time to show you what it's made of. That's another point of advice here. If you don't want to go the other way, so you're like, but I really want to change it to what I want. I don't want to walk away. I don't want either of those options. Then pull back and get involved in something else. Put the majority of your energy in something else. Let this situation give you some time to show you what it's really made of, and you will see. So if it's a house, instead of going full board and just making it over in five minutes, put your energy somewhere else, the majority of it, and then like 
have somebody else work for you and see what give them give them the the ability to evaluate the house find the studs find the pipes this is what I want tell me what it would take to make this happen and then they'll do the research like well if we're gonna do that there well these pipes should be here but actually they're way over there I don't know why they're way over there they go way out of their way I don't it's a lot of wasted pipe I don't understand why they did that the stud I mean the house is standing but I'm still not understanding how because the studs are nowhere near where they should be so I'm thinking maybe this isn't as load bearing as it should be like I feel like somebody else if you give them a chance to look it through the house for example they'll tell you if it's a person you just pull back your energy you, you like maybe you're gonna center on work instead of the relationship or whatever this connection is as it goes over the next couple months you're gonna see what they're really like you're gonna see how strong they really are and how reserved they usually are and how slowly they will move forward they won't move forward fast they only move forward slowly you'll be able to realize wait a minute I'm seeing who they are I do really want them the way I want them but I'm seeing who they really are and how strong they really are and I feel like you'll know what to do with it at that point. Once you see more of who they are, a little more depth of their personality, this could be somebody you've known for years, but you haven't known them in this certain context. The more you see them in this realm, you're going to be like, okay, wait a minute, we have big differences. Are these differences I can be compatible with, or are these differences that are going to be more of a problem going down the road? You give it a couple months, you'll find out for sure. So I guess there's three different options about how to handle this. It's just like... I feel like what they're saying is like you got you you do have the ability to kind of slow up and put your energy somewhere else and give this a chance to show you what it is. The four of wands to me is like a contract card. Before you get locked into something, you know, give it a chance to like show you what it wants to do. Like when I'm seeing the horse on this knight of wands, this is the knight of wands, right? Yep. What I'm seeing is like let the horse kind of graze, let the horse go out there and show you like what it's capable of. Um, is it more of a horse that likes to run or does it hate to run? Some horses, I'm just, I don't know horses all that well, but I'm just, I'm really feeling like not every horse likes to run. I could be wrong, but like some of them just kind of like to walk around and do what they want to do. See what type of horse this is. Understand what type of horse you actually ended up with, so you can understand like if I want a horse that I want to run, or maybe I want a horse that's going to pull a lot of weight. If this horse is just not that horse, you try to put hook up a lot of weight to this horse, it's like, no. <laughs> it just sits there, it's like, I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to do it. You can do everything you want to me, but I'm still not going to pull this stuff. I'm not going to do it. It's, let it show you what it's made of so you can decide what is really applicable here. Just give it some time. I feel like you're getting the spiritual assistance to try to help you make this work out a different way. That's the whole point of this reading. Having it work out a different way, working out a way that's more to your advantage versus against what you want. Because I'm getting something about a caretaker energy. Um... It says career, but I keep thinking caretaker. Something about the word caretaker keeps coming in over and over again. And um, well-being, like whatever you're dealing with, it will walk away from you but make your life hell if you make its life hell. Or if, like if, if you don't do it on their terms, it's going to backlash on you and fall in on you. If you respect it, if you respect it, you may find out it's not for you anyway. And you may just make the right decision and let it move on, but it'll move on without causing you complete grief. Because I'm getting it is what it is, but the career, I'm like, this situation is already established. It is what it is. It's going to do things its way. If you try to make a change, it's going to fight you tooth and nail one way or another. If you let it be, I think you're going to find that it's really not for you, and it will leave on its own terms, but it will leave peacefully. We prefer peaceful. Instead of somebody getting a grudge and holding on to a grudge for years and just trying to make your life hell for as long as they possibly can. Some people, they just get in that kick. and I've done readings for people who uh, they're dealing with somebody like that <laughs> and they just don't go away because they're so motivated and they just won't stop. And it goes on for years. So some people are just like that. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's some people are like that. So there's, they're trying to help you find a way to avoid this on your terms at least you can avoid this on your terms in a way that it doesn't have to like drive you nuts for years because it seems like whatever this is has the ability to drive you nuts for literally years I mean you definitely don't want that of course if this reading is hitting for you granted all right I'm gonna shut this down here I hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email James for astral at gmail.com that's James the number four astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information that's below same email Thanks again for watching and have a great day.